If I was to guess, this virus started transmitting somewhere in September, October, or Wuhan. September, October. That's my own view. It's only opinion. I'm allowed to have opinions now. You know, I am of the point of view that I still think the most likely uh, etiology of this pathogen in Wuhan was a from a laboratory. Um, you know, escaped. Uh, the other people don't believe that. That's fine. Science will eventually figure it out. It's not unusual for respiratory pathogens that are being worked on in a laboratory to infect a laboratory worker. It is also not unusual for that type of research to be occurring in Wuhan. The city is a widely known center for viral studies in China, including the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which has experimented extensively with bat, bat coronaviruses. coronaviruses. It is a remarkable conversation I feel like we're having here because you are the former CDC director and you were the director at the time this was all happening. For the first time, the former CDC director is stating publicly that he believes this pandemic started months earlier than we knew and that it originated not at a wet market but inside a lab in China. These are two significant things to say, Dr. Redfield. That's not an Applying any intentionality, you know, it's my opinion, right? But I am a virologist. I have spent my life in virology. I do not believe this somehow came from a bat to a human, and at that moment in time, the virus came to the human, became one of the most infectious viruses that we know in humanity for human to human transmission. Normally, when a pathogen goes from a zoo to a human, it takes a while for it to figure out how to become more and more efficient in human to human transmission. I just don't think this makes biological sense. So in the lab, do you think that that process of becoming more efficient was happening? Is that what you were suggesting? Yeah, let's just say I have coronavirus that I'm working on. Most of us in the lab are trying to grow a virus. We're trying to help make it grow better and better and better and better and better and better so we can do experiments and figure out about it. That's the way I put it together. It's a pretty extraordinary conversation.